The Mario games have had their fair share of infamously difficult stages, but one that stands out amongst the crowd is the perfect run in Super Mario Galaxy 2. The perfect run is the final level that you unlock and it includes a plethora of challenges all combined into one stage. If you die or even just take damage, you go all the way back to the beginning. This level has been an obstacle for speedrunners as they have tried to not only optimize this stage, but pull off all of these optimizations at the end of a speedrun that is nearing lengths of 10 hours. This dilemma motivated speedrunners to make the perfect run perfect. <laughs> So today we will be looking at how speedrunners broke Mario's hardest stage. Now since the perfect run is the very last thing you unlock in the game, you will only see it done in 100% runs. This means that any tricks or strategies found within the perfect run would be performed at the end of this very long speedrun, as I mentioned earlier. However, this didn't stop runners from labbing out just the level itself and seeing how far the individual level could be pushed down. As I sifted through older runs of the perfect run, I saw that most runners would just try to beat the level without dying. Having a level with with no checkpoints and a high risk of dying prompted runners to especially play it safe in the second half of the level. Despite this, their playthroughs of the perfect run were no casual playthrough. The first thing that you'll notice is that Mario is constantly long jumping. Long jumping is Mario Galaxy's fastest way of moving forward and runners will utilize this movement technique quite a bit. At the beginning of the perfect run there is a section with Yoshi where you use the Wii sensor bar to hook Yoshi's tongue onto these flowers. Hovering your sensor over the flowers before Yoshi grapples onto them makes it so that he can go seamlessly from one flower to the next without any pauses. Also there's some flowers that can just be skipped which add to the pot of time save. In this next section you have to hit all of these panels to unlock a launch star. There's not much to note here other than the fact that runners will take an optimal route to not overlap on panels, as well as making sure they do small jumps to land right back on the ground, as spending time in the air wastes time in the section. This cloud section is where the first big time save comes into play. There are multiple cloud power-ups throughout this part of the level, as there are only three clouds per power-up. If you minimize the amount of clouds you have to use, you'll have enough to take this cloud power-up into the next section with all three clouds. Having this cloud power-up here allows allows you to long jump over everything as opposed to slowly traversing through all of the obstacles. Now it's very tempting to play it safe here as taking damage sends you all the way back to the beginning and let's just say it's very easy to take damage here. However, grabbing all of the pole stars and waiting for the electricity isn't necessary as speedrunners are able to skip some pole stars and traverse their way around the electricity. The last section of the perfect run wasn't anything too crazy, just some long jumps and killing these hammer bros as fast as possible. Pulling off the perfect run with no deaths and including these optimizations would clock in at a time around 3 minutes, give or take. One thing that I did not mention is that every time a launch star is taken to a new place, a stun lock cancel is done, which saves a small fraction of time. We are able to cancel Mario's landing animation by flipping the camera up and down. This adds up through the course of the perfect run. Also, Luigi is better, because not only can he jump higher, but he's probably more likely to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications for Anto's latest uploads. The perfect run was far from being perfect but one glitch took one big step towards the perfect run being perfect. In fact, this glitch is arguably Super Mario Galaxy 2's most game-breaking glitch. Any stage that included Yoshi was a stage that was broken. The very first section of the perfect run includes Yoshi, so you already know we're going to be able to infinitely flutter through a lot of it and skip the flowers that would normally slow us down. This strat was actually implemented pretty quickly into 100% runs as the reward seems to outweigh the risk in this situation since it's at the very beginning of the perfect run and saves a decent chunk of time. Another strat that was implemented was cloud boosting. If you spawn another cloud shortly after jumping off another cloud, you are able to get a boost not only in height but in distance. A singular cloud boost only saves a small amount of time but when they are effectively chained together, they can end up saving a large chunk of time. We've looked at what is possible to achieve by humans, but no matter how hard a human tries, they'll never be able to achieve the perfect run. Thankfully TAS or tool assisted speedruns help us gauge what a perfect speedrun would look like. Alright so this is a task that I'm actually really excited for. This is the most up to date task. Alright. Oh what? Playing as Mario. That's a- oh my god. The Yoshi fluttering. Holy shit. I didn't even get the 
talk shit about Mario because I was just so fucking impressed by this. Oh my god, dude. All right. There, there's no shot. Okay, I know this exists, but there's no way he just, like, he just lands and he's instantly fluttering. Like, I'm surprised there's just, an, like, I'm used to a setup. Oh my god, the Yoshi re-grab. I can't, man. I can't, this is insane. Hey, that's a thumbnail. My videos aren't clickbait, guys. Alright, dude. Yeah, that's right. So since you're skipping the cloud section, he just Yoshi flutters to everything. Oh, he need bounces off that. Oh my god. Oh, what the? Dude, no. This is... This is what I'm saying. If you have Yoshi in a stage, like, it's broken. Look at this. He's just cheesing through everything. Bouncing off everything. Oh my... Like, you don't even need Mario. Or it doesn't matter if it's Mario or Luigi. Like, dude, 1 minute and 44 seconds. That is fucking insane. I am blown away by what happened at the flip switches. I seriously... I'm sure people will find a way. But this is one of those moments where I'm like, damn... That really was a perfect run.